what is this? I don't know how those get in there. I don't use those. Today all I want to do is just a quick video on my tool belt. Um, I've changed it quite a bit in the past six months, being able to try out a lot of new stuff. I've added some things, taken away some things, so I just wanted to do a video and show you guys how I've changed it a little bit. Last tool belt video was probably almost three years ago, so I just want to show you guys what I'm using currently. So, to start off, I use the Mowerman belt, which is just a three loop normal clip belt I, I like these more than the you know a normal kind of belt style for tools just because they also include the three loops on it one here one there and another one here you can see I'm kind of packed so I don't use them but when you actually put it on your body you can use them quite well for a buck down the belt I've been using the Unger Ninja Boab and I also use the Mowerman Boab. I actually like the Mower one more than this one. Um, for squeegee wise, I've been using a 22 inch Cobra Sorbo squeegee with an Unger Ninja handle and then a Polex Moon Max, of course. 18 inches, my overall preferred squeegee out of all of them. Using a number of strip washers, this one I think is my favorite. Um, this is just an Unger green strip washer with the Unger uh, T-bar here. Very old, probably over six years old and still working just great. Never had this go out. These always really tighten really well. So really high quality product. Um, next is, what is this? I don't know how those get in there. I don't use those. So next is the Sorbo double holster. Um, usually carry like a 14 inch with the, with the Leggies handle of an Ettore channel in there. Or if you're doing French cutouts, you can put, you know, two other handles in there for the smaller type of squeegees when you need those for that type of work. Here is my pouch. Um, this is the same pouch I've used for quite over six years. Uh, works extremely, extremely well. It's the only pouch I will buy. It's the only pouch I will use. I have rings here for any sort of tools to use makes it really really easy a lot of pouches here for tools so if like this one i can put a screen tool in if you need a screwdriver or a flathead you can put them in here same with the other side um, using this front pouch i'll use a white pad or some sort of steel wool and then towels in the back pouch you can see this thing's pretty worn maybe time to switch it but something about keeping something that looks pretty old it's fun to see how long it lasts here, Unger 6 inch razor. We all know this tool, probably the best razor on the market. Um, I have lost the, the back plate did break off after about a couple of years, but even if that back plate breaks off, it still works fine. Um, great, great razor overall. And then we have here the Gunslinger bucket on a belt, tip jar feature, you can unclip this, dump out your water. What I've been using it for only is for these um, Ettore accelerators that I use. And I have an 18 inch in here, 14 inch in the back. I keep the 14 inch in the back so that I don't have anything stabbing up into my ribs and the 18 in the front, or it works awesome for that. I guess that it would work really great for guys who are using high flyers and um, any accelerator, any type of wagtail combi any sort of tool like that, I think it would work really well for you. Next, here is the Sorbo steel wool holster. Um, I call it a steel wool pouch, not a holster. So I just have some dry steel wool in here, just bronze steel wool, and use that for little touch-ups for bug stuff, fingerprints, things like that. There will be some new additions to this tool belt soon, but we'll talk about that in uh, coming up videos. But that's basically it as far as the tool belt I use every day. This is everything I use every day for root work, um, big commercial jobs, or residential jobs. This is what I like to use. So 
that's it guys if you have any questions comment below and i'll help you as much as possible and we will see you soon peace